Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do your mid-May general reading. It's a general reading, so it will not resonate with every Aquarius. But if it does resonate with you, please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It is much appreciated. Okay, so let's get started. I've already pulled a few cards just to, you know, save time. I have shuffled and prayed over the cards off camera, so that much is good. So, overall energy for love, love and romance is the Empress. Nice. For some of you, you are mothers, you are pregnant, you have just had a baby, man or woman, you, you know, in whatever dynamic you're in, you may have just had, had a baby giving birth. Your woman gave birth or you are the woman and you gave birth. Um... You're very abundant. You're beautiful. You're creating the environment, the love, because this is love and romance that you want. The, the air of the um, kind of like the law of attraction. You know, just trying to get yourself together so that you attract what it is or what frequent frequency you're vibrating at. Um, you want that same energy to return to you in the form of other person companionship right it's for some of you on the flip side you may be the other person the other woman the other man in a situation um one that you may be distant from you may not be engaging in this third party situation on a day-to-day -day basis or week-to-week -week basis maybe not even a month to month basis but the energy is still resonating for some of you okay um some of you are trying to yeah birth new love once again back to the law of attraction just trying to put out good vibes be the best person for yourself and then of course expect the universe to bring that to you by way of attraction okay so in the past you were the eight of water eight of cups so this is why I feel like you're you're apart from you have the strength to walk away from a situation, especially if it was third party, especially if this wasn't exclusive or it wasn't what you wanted. Maybe from a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, it doesn't have to be. But you have the strength to walk away from, uh, walk back toward a path that better served you. Walked away from a path where you felt like I would never. You, as the Aquarius felt, I would never get the Ten of Cups here. I would always be dissatisfied, discontent. Uh, some people may have looked at you walking away from this situation and said, Why are you walking away? It looks like you got it good. You got it made. But only you know. Typically, this card has this the moon in it. The moon talks about the unknown, the unspeakable, an unforeseen event, a shift, a change. Only you know why you left. It was for an emotional reason. Okay, so that was the past. The present is the Queen of Earth. Very good energy. The Queen of Earth is concerned about health, wealth, and um, the pursuit of happiness. She isn't necessarily concerned 100% with happiness but definitely with the pursuit she understands that she has to trust the process she is a doer also um, the queen of earth is uh, this is your energy this is presently where you are you're concerned about the outer appearance your body your your hair your face your skin your whatever you're also concerned about uh, the inner health, what you what you're eating, what you're not eating, what you what medicines you take or vitamins or whatnot. You're concerned about um, the home, the wealth of your situation. It's just like you walked away from one situation and you just decided to be concerned about you in in its entirety, like you in every aspect, uh, emotional, mental health physical health um, financial health you just decided to be concerned with those this aspect of life and you make you started making more logical or rational decisions you got more grounded like 
you got back to a place of understanding you know one plus one is two it's not three it's not this it's not that it's not it's it's only two you know and um just more so a lot of groundedness and making decisions that impact you in a long on a long term basis concerned about abundance and beauty and luxury so in the near future will be the five of water I feel this is a love and romance I don't feel like this is the Aquarius energy you don't go from Empress to eight of water to Queen of Earth to five of water maybe you do I don't know maybe someone out there has ups and downs but I feel like this is how someone else feels about the Aquarius of course longing for missing um, feeling the change in a long-standing dynamic could be marriage could be you dealt with someone for years and the change that happened which was maybe you or the other person walking away from you this person now well maybe the Aquarius is missing an aspect of, of um, that relationship they want it back this also is a person hesitating before making a decision too. They're more concerned about what can't be rectified, what can't be fixed. This is someone also who made the wrong choice. So there's a bit of ego wrapped up in making a decision. To make a decision is to almost admit defeat or admit that you or this person made the wrong decision they made the wrong choice so they rest in sorrow grief trying to restore something that is just not going to be restored um whatever we're going to clarify over at the website to see who or what or if this is the Aquarius missing someone else. I'm going to give you a sneak peek to that too. Let's see. Let's get one card. What is the five of water in love and romance for Aquarius? Who or what is missing the Aquarius? Okay, two cards came out. Wow. Um, the lovers and the ten of cups. Didn't I say this? Now, this could be a physical Gemini person. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, but then we, then we just speak of choices. They made the wrong choice. Or maybe the Aquarius made the wrong choice. And this card used to be called the choice. Because the lovers is about a choice. Um... This person may have chosen to stay in a situation where they, so there's two dynamics here, where they were not, they portrayed to the world, to you, that they were all so happy, so elated to be in this relationship, in this marriage, right? But I have a saying, hasn't been proven, but, you know, happy people don't cheat point blank period if you are genuinely 110% happy elated to do your day's routine go home to said person I mean just over the moon about being there with them being in their space to cheat would speak to some major deformity or chemical imbalance within yourself because you're you're ultimately so happy with this person so anyway 
we won't even get it break down the psychology of cheating right but this may have been a person who portrayed to the world that they were absolutely so happy in their dynamic in their um their dynamic their relationship uh but they weren't happy because look at where they are now wow okay so so the lovers is about a choice right it's typically two people 50 50 right um they portrayed like they were the ten of cups correct like all, everything with them in their home life and their life was the ten of cups but as soon as they made the choice to either cut you out or you made the choice to walk away they went to 50 percent to the five of water you left and the real feelings the even more so were shown the five of water you made them happy but this was a person who maybe chose made the wrong choice maybe they chose a gemini over you or this is a gemini you're dealing with cancer pisces scorpio the other aspect is this person maybe chose their family you may have had a family or has or they have a family um they chose the family over you and and not you not the lover you chose the family but look at where they end up now, this could be you Aquarius too you chose to stay with your family and it's like what the hell did I do I know I want this other person and um, yeah I may have made the wrong choice so we're gonna drill down on this and see exactly how this person feels if they have anything to offer Aquarius has been having for the last few readings someone wanting to come back offer something to the Aquarius that they never have offered before um, let's see what it's all about over at my website always keep in mind it's two dollars to gain a, a bit more clarity if this is resonating with you thus far if you're at a place where you cannot afford to purchase your own reading to pull your own personal energy two dollars gains you a bit more clarity anyway not anyway, but anyhow, let's jump into the career and finance. The overall energy is the king of diamond. That's nice. Queen of earth or queen of diamond, king of earth, king of diamond, right? Um, presently, this is beautiful. See, the, the Aquarius doesn't even really have, they have love on their mind, but not before getting themselves 100% stable. And that may be in career and finance because the overall energy for career and finance is the king of diamonds. So this is an Aquarius who in the present is trying to cultivate, you know, 100% financial stability. Um, and it looks like you do eventually. In the past for the Aquarius in career and finance was the seven of hearts wishful thinking um maybe a bit of daydreaming um options trying to to gather your emotions and your thoughts in regards to um which way would you go in a situation you had a lot of options there was um a lot to choose from or there is a lot to choose from. there was because this is the past there's a lot to choose from um this was a, this was an aquarius an aquarius who had to regain control and forward movement by making a decision and be and uh hopefully making the right one and being solid with it and moving forward and trying to have a, a victorious um, outcome with this decision so it's like this was an Aquarius it was like well I can't start my own business but even if in starting my own business I could probably just ask for a promotion on the job where I am or I could start my business and ask for a promotion on the job I could do both 
or I had partner with my friend who wants to start it. You know, you have several options here, you know, and this was an Aquarius who had to commit to um, one of those options. Presently, the Aquarius is the four of spades. Very good energy, healing, restoration, recovery, um, taking a break. Um, there might have been an illness. Illness in the sense of ill feelings, ill thoughts toward your financial and your career status. Now, there's healing, there's restoration and recovery. Because the Aquarius has done a lot of work in regards to and trying to get myself to a place, a better place um, in the midst of stability. This might be an Aquarius who had a lot of people who always helped them because the Aquarius was always willing to help. Also, they always had someone to count on. Now the Aquarius wants to be 100% independent. Um, this was always, you know, this could have been an Aquarius who had someone funding them in in whatever manner their whole life or their business or whatever they had a they had a source um they could have been married okay but now it's recovery of what was lost um taking a break taking receiving what has been prayed for manifested um in regards to the Aquarius doing the manifestation work just kind of being neutral in a sense okay so in the near future we've got the offer the good offer the money offer the jack of diamond in the playing cards deck this talks about uh, an untrustworthy uh, dishonest dishonest person now that could be for some of you and it might be this king of diamond and then there's going to be a lot of you who it this is about you know an offer that you have been praying for and waiting for this might be if the devil just popped out Yeah, this might be an offer in career and finance that is tied to, wow, the sun. Okay. <laughs> For some of you, this offer is tied to someone with ulterior motives. For some of you, the, the offer is good. It just means that this will be, this has been a long time coming. This will be something you can build from or build upon. Yeah, Queen of Cups. Something that fulfills you emotionally. Something that um, yeah, fills your cup. Ace of Wands. The Two of Cups. Yeah. This is, for some of you, the, and then the Wheel of Fortune at the bottom of the deck. Okay. You know where you fit in. For some of you, you got someone coming to maybe make an offer to you in regards to money, the tangible. It's tied to a lower vibration. Either this is going to be revealed to you and or some of you. Yeah, it could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. They want to reignite a relationship something about money being tied to a particular person like I said you for some of you you had somebody bankrolling you you know you can take to this offer but I don't feel like this person has changed much and then for some of you the offer is just good okay yeah six of wands and then the queen of swords Someone is choosing you, the, the Aquarius. Then the star card at the bottom of the deck. All right, so let's go over to the web, to my website and clarify this. See what is really going on here. 
in regards to this tangible offer that's showing up in career and finance showing up as the devil maybe it's something that you thought would never happen something that you feared in a sense um, I just keep hearing that song uh, I think it was like it's like I don't know um, somebody wants to be your man they're like yeah they want to be your man they, they want to offer something I don't know let's go over to the website and see what's going on here um, let's see what's going on in the near future yeah because somebody's coming back and wanting to reignite this offer may reignite you also um, some money may come in and t to where now you can do your soul's work something about some emotional work you do maybe social work I don't know Queen of Swords and the Six of Wands. I think you get to the truth of the matter that maybe this is your soul's work. You're going to have victory and in, in get into that truth. And, and you'll feel like you're on the right path. And you may even have a lot of... Um, an audience? I don't know. Okay. All right. Meet me on the other side, guys. All links are below. Thank you for tuning in. Know that I am praying for you. Aquarius, pray for me as well. Take care, guys.